Hello everybody, Charlie here again from Proponics, and today we're going to be discussing aquaponics, the marriage of aquaculture and hydroponics. But why, might you be asking, use fish with hydroponics? Well, stick around, watch the rest of the video to find out. Aquaponics, as the name suggests, is a symbiotic blend of aquaculture and hydroponics. Picture this, fish happily swimming in their tank while lush greenery thrives nearby. But how does it all work? It begins with fish food, the cornerstone of this ecosystem. As the fish dine on their meal, they metabolize it and excrete it. However, their excretion is rich in ammonia, a potential threat to both plants and fish if left unchecked. However, the ammonia is processed by nitrifying bacteria. Housed within a biofilter, these microscopic powerhouses work tirelessly to convert fish waste and organic matter into a nutrient-rich solution essential for plant growth. Without their presence, the plants would be left high and dry, starved of vital nutrients. Now that we understand the basics, let's explore the setup. Aquaponics mirrors traditional hydroponic systems with one key addition, the fish tank. For example, ebb and flow and deep water culture systems would function in the same way, but with the addition of fish in the water reservoir. Just be sure to allow for the development of beneficial bacteria before introducing fish. Additionally, you can use a media bed system, which is one of the more popular choices for aquaponics. In this system, there is a fish tank and a grow bed containing growing medium, such as gravel or expanded clay pellets, that provide a surface for beneficial bacteria to break down fish waste and turn it into nutrients. The water is pumped from the fish tank to the grow bed and is then returned to the fish tank. In the world of aquaponics, fish selection is critical. While tilapia and barramundi are popular choices for their resilience and rapid growth, trout can also be a great choice, especially in cooler climates. Don't forget about other smaller aquatic organisms like snails and shrimp. They too can flourish in this aquaponic ecosystem. As for your choice of plants, aquaponics accommodates a variety of crops, from leafy greens like lettuce and kale to herbs and decorative flowers. However, heavy feeders like tomatoes and cucumbers require a more advanced setup to thrive, so plan your garden accordingly. Before taking the plunge into aquaponics, it's crucial to consider the well-being of your fish. Adequate space, quality nutrition and proper lighting are non-negotiables for happy, healthy fish. Remember to monitor water temperature diligently and conduct thorough research to ensure a harmonious environment for both fish and plants. For aspiring aquaponic enthusiasts, there are kits available, seamlessly integrating with existing aquariums or standalone setups for countertop convenience. Just remember, the key to success lies in maintaining a balanced ecosystem. Too few fish, and your plants will suffer the consequences. Aquaponics unlocks a world of possibilities where fish and plants coexist in perfect harmony. So consider adding aquaponics to your gardening repertoire for a truly immersive growing experience. If you like what you just saw, go ahead and click the link in the description to find a full detailed article on this video's topic. And if you learned something new today, hit that like button and let us know down in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe for more hydroponics educational content and visit proponics.co.uk for in-depth articles on all things hydroponics. Grow smarter with proponics. And until next time, happy growing.